Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio, we can create what are called smart bones. And smart bones act like regular bones, except now you can program specific actions into the bone. So let's say, for instance, that you create an arm and it's bending upward. Well, during the bend, something goes wrong. It's not bending quite right. It's a little bit distorted. Well, with a smart bone, you could program the bone that's causing the issue to autocorrect itself with the points. You can move the points around of that vector layer. So when it bends up, Anime Studio will know then to move those points. And there's many more things you can do with smart bones. In the case of this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how to rig a mouth with a smart bone dial. And a smart bone dial is essentially the same as a smart bone, except it's a dial outside of your bone character. So to get started, we'll first need a bone character on screen. You can see here in the layers panel, I have that. And with that bone layer selected, we can go over to the toolbar here and select add bone. Now come back here towards your character and we'll place the dial right about here and just draw up like that and release. And that's all we need for this. Next, we will use the new Anime Studio 10 quick way to create a smart dial. In the past, there were a few steps to this, but now all we have to do is go up to Bone, Make Smart Bone Dial. Now you'll have some options here that you'll need to decide on. First, the name of the bone. It's always good to name your smart bones so that you can relate them to the actions that will be created. In this case, we can name this one mouth since it will be controlling the mouth. Next is the minimum and maximum angle. In this case, we wanted to go from left to right so we can leave those as is. And finally, the durations. With smart bones, you can basically animate out as many frames as you want within the dial. For right now, we'll leave that at 100, and once you're good, you can click OK. So now, a couple things happen. We are now in the mouth action. You can see that the actions panel has appeared, and we have a red arrow pointing to the mouth action, meaning we are inside that action. You can also tell this because the mouth bone is also highlighted in red. Next, on the bottom on your timeline, you can see it's not only a different color, but we have keyframes at frame 100. And that's because we set the lifetime frames to 100. And if you page back and forth on your timeline, you can see the dial automatically goes from the beginning stage on the left all the way to the right. It stops at 100. So now what we want to do is basically set up actions for when the dial is to the left and then to the right. And then when we move that dial, it will create that action. So we are now on frame one inside this action. Let's go to the mouth layer here and click on mask. Now I'll zoom in and we want the mouth closed on frame one. So I'll take my transform points tool and I'll come in here and just do some slight adjustments here. Just like that, and we can bring this up like so. Okay, just like that. And we can go in here and do a little bit of fine tuning just with some of these points here. that. And that'll work for right now. So now we also have a couple other elements here that we should move around. For instance, we have the face details right here. So we can take that face details layer. We can click on that object with the transform points tool, hold and shift and just move it up like so. And we can do the same then for the shades. Just click on that, hold and shift and move it up like so. 
So now we want to create the second action then for this movement. We will advance all the way to frame 100. Now coming back in here to the mouth, we can create then the second action which is then the mouth being open. So once again we'll go to that mask and we will just open the mouth here. And if you wanted to with this, you could have copied the frame of the original mouth pose being open and then paste it here to get a reference of it, if that's something you wanted to do. But we'll just come in here right now and kind of get things situated and then we can kind of play with it from there to get it set correctly. Okay, so we can kind of come in here and we can make this one maybe a little bit wider than the initial one. Just make sure that we don't go below the teeth there. Come down here like this. Like that. Bring that in slightly. Of course, bring this one in a little bit as well. Okay, just like that. So now we'll need to bring down these other details such as the face details. So we can click on that, hold and shift and bring it down. And I'm holding in shift just because that allows us then to constrain the movement vertically or horizontally. It's just an easier way to approach it. We will bring the shade then down as well. And we can also do a couple other things like for instance, the tongue, we could bring that one down if we wanted to. Just a little bit like that. So zoom back out here and we can see how things look. Now what we can do from here is double click on the main line in our actions to so go back out to the main timeline and if we come up here to the character bone layer and then select the manipulate bones tool we're on frame zero you can see we go from here to here. And we could probably do a little bit more adjusting with the mouth in terms of just kind of how it's moving. But as you can see, we can now control the mouth with a smart bone dial. And you can do this for a variety of different things. You can do it for adjusting colors, changing transparencies. You can do it for creating some eyes that blink. Of course, you can make those adjustments, as I said, with regular bones. And Really, the possibilities are endless. Smart Bones gives you complete control over your character, and that, of course, is never a bad thing. But anyway, if you would like more information on Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.